stop. So I'm at the airport heading to Minneapolis. Check out the coffee drinkers lining up, getting their fix. And let's see what else is sold at the airport for people. We got good old fashioned Burger King, nice line. Oh look, we got some bananas. So I'm coming here to fill up my water. I could choose Sprite, I could choose Dr. Pepper, but I'm here for water. And here's an ad for Burger King and Diet Coke teaming up together to tantalize me. I don't think so. There's little snippets of hope. Here's Wolfgang Puck, real food made fresh. Now, sure, they got smoked bacon, scrambled eggs, tons of terrible crap. But at the same time, I bet 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you couldn't get a mixed green salad with pickled onions, carrots, tomatoes, cucumber. Ah, oh, damn it, they had to throw in the Parmesan, but you could probably get it without. Um, so, you know, it's, it's in no way perfect at all. There's still so much that has to happen, but I think that's a great step. People are usually just used to candy, Burger King, McDonald's, Starbucks, and a, a bunch of Coca-Cola machines at an airport, but there are, there are slight tidbits of hope, of hope here. So I'm looking at the glass half full, headed off to Minneapolis to start my internship. Pretty excited. I get there late tonight, and we'll see what Minneapolis has for me this week. I'm here on the plane, actually, from LA to Minneapolis, and I lucked out and got the whole road to myself uh, in my aisle, so I got to spread out a little bit, which is comfortable. Um, but I wanted to show you what I do in terms of traveling when I need to eat on a longer flight. This flight's about four hours, and you know, with travel time and everything, you're out of the kitchen for seven or eight hours. So I wanted to show you what I do and how I pass the time on a plane. So right here, I'm just editing a video and now it's time for dinner. It's about eight o'clock and boom. I just brought this in a Tupperware. You can totally bring it through security. I've done it literally for years. They never give me any trouble. And look at this handy little travel dressing uh, container. I highly recommend this. It's awesome. I have some apple cider vinegar in here. What do I have for dinner? So I'm actually in heaven right now because I've worked out the past three days in a row in preparation for this trip that I'm about to go on to Minneapolis for my internship. And I know I won't be able to go into the gym for at least two days. And if I'm lucky, maybe there'll be a gym somewhere and I'll get to go in a couple days, but maybe not for a week. So I am resting on the plane, relaxing my muscles, feeling good. And here is what I got for dinner. Some steamed sweet potatoes. Here's some just nori seaweed. Some raw sprouted mung beans. Some tofu and tempeh baked cubes. Some green, or sorry, yellow split peas. And just a bunch, a bunch of greens. Just salad greens, kale. Then I probably have some turmeric in there. Uh, there's some celery peeking its way through. So I just got an awesome meal that I'm so excited to eat. And of course, I got vegan bodybuilding and fitness Greg, book, Robert Cheek's book. I've read it cover to cover many times. I always just like to have it out on planes. I always read something over and learn something. So here's my little setup. I'm about to eat my dinner. Look at this insane bullshit of people trying to literally brainwash us with trippy 3D images of Coke products. That's extremely disturbing. And here's another one for this, I like it more conventional. And let's see the snacks. Lay's, Lifesavers, Butterfingers, Ruffles, Reese's, Pop-Tarts, what in God's name.
Here's what I whipped up at the salad bar. Got a huge, big green salad. It's actually very tasty. Here's my crew that I'll be working with this summer, all college students working on divestment against the fossil fuel industry. Here we are in class getting trained. We had hours and hours of amazing training on different activist movements throughout history, how to organize for an environmental or social justice movement, and how to actually plan um, direct action demonstrations to get your message across. We had the Ruckus Society come and do a demonstration and many more local groups. Checking out some sweet local community gardens, growing vegetables uh, throughout the spring, summer, and fall for the college. Pretty awesome. All right, people, here I am eating my high carb, low fat vegan dinner. I'm here with the crew, the 350 crew, a bunch of hardcore vegetarians right here. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. I got a bunch of steamed broccoli and bok choy and a nice big helping of rice, carbon up for the morning. This is awesome. Dunzo. <laughs> Sippy River, baby. It's the C word. Everyone welcome. Community co-op. Looks very promising from the exterior. So, let's take a look inside. This co-op looks exactly like Co-Opportunity, the Santa Monica food co-op that I grew up at. Here is an amazing bulk section. Walking back from the Seaward Food Co-op, I got myself a wonderful breakfast. I'm walking back to campus for training. So here's what I got for my breakfast on the road. I'm sort of using this week to lean out a little bit. I'm pro I'll probably be eating one or two thousand calories less than I normally do, um, and I'm just using this opportunity to get a little lean, get a little more ripped for the summer. Right here, I got my shaker bottle and an apple in my hand. In the shaker bottle is one scoop of Vega protein with some water and also I got, they had a juice bar there. So I got a green juice. It was kale, celery, wheat grass, uh, parsley, and I think some ginger. So I mixed all that up in my shaker bottle with the Vega protein which has some vanilla and I have a wonderful, beautiful green protein drink this morning. Um, on top of that, you can see I'm eating one Fuji apple, and I also ate uh, a peach. They had ripe peaches. I was so surprised. Usually grocery store stone fruit is rock solid and shouldn't be eaten for a week. And they had ripe, juicy, melty peaches. And so I ate one of those, and I'm eating this apple in my pocket. I have a couple dried mission figs and I got some green beans. So I'm just sort of having a small feast of probably, you know, three or four pieces of fruit, a green juice, some Vega protein powder, and a little bit of veggies. So that's a pretty low calorie breakfast, probably 500 calories if that. Um, so there's a small breakfast for me, but that's what I do on the road to get enough sugar in and to lean out a bit while I'm traveling, and I'm happy. It's sweet, sweet, good organic fruit. And thankfully, because we were staying at a college, we got access to the gym, so I got in a workout day. So correct me if I'm wrong, but a gym, a fitness center, is for people to get healthy, to get fit, and improve their lives. So when you walk out of the fitness center, you are met with a muscle milk vending machine that tells you to sustain your energy, you should use this meal replacement of some processed, disgusting protein drink, um, and that calories count. 
Let's see, we got... Oh, banana muscle milk. Look at that. Why don't you just eat a banana on its own? Or a strawberry. <laughs> Cookies and cream muscle milk. I mean, it's just crazy. And then you could also choose to get some Pepsi. Get some soda in after your cardio workout. It doesn't even make sense. It's ridiculous. And here's Aquafina, which is bought by Pepsi, saying how green they are. Great. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. So here on my program, we were taken to the Gandhi Mahal Indian restaurant in Minneapolis. And the owner took us downstairs to this awesome sort of indoor hydroponic, aquaponic greenhouse that he had set up to supply the greens and produce for the restaurant. He was growing spinach, romaine, kale, tomatoes, bell peppers, all this stuff. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of Minneapolis. I had a great time, met some incredible, inspiring college students, as well as some leaders at 350.org, and got to see this beautiful, very calm, green, wonderful city. Um, you got to see a little bit about how I eat when I travel, how I find places to work out, grocery stores I can find, and I really had a great time. So up next for my summer is New York City. This is Vegan Style. This is Vegan Style.